9.30 a.m. on a beautiful, gorgeous Wednesday morning. Um, so we're going to uh, get started with a little warm-up. So let's go wide with your stance, toes facing out straight ahead. Interlock your fingers and push your palms up to the ceiling, pulling the shoulder blades down. Try to get your head to go right in between the arms. Get tall. Good. Feel like getting lengthening through the torso. Feel the heels on the floor. And let's just tip it to the left here. Good. Feel that right side stretching. That's right. Three, two, and one. And let's go on over to the right. Good. Feel that left side engaging. Three, two, one. Good. Bring it back up the middle. Look up at your hands. Push your hip forward. Squeeze your butt. And then lean back. And hold for three, two, one. Good. Stand tall. Unlock your hands. Hinge at your hip. Fold forward. And just come all the way down. And just hang here for a second. Keep the knees straight, pressing the knees back. Feel that stretch through the hamstrings, through the glutes. Walk both hands over to your left foot. Walk over here, hold it for five, four, three, two, one. Let's walk it over to the right side. Let's hold this. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Let's bring both hands down the middle. Bend the left leg, keep the right leg straight. Get as low as you can while keeping the left heel on the ground. You can take your left elbow and push the left knee out slightly. Get a little bit more range of motion through that hip. Keep your hips low and switch sides. Again, we want to make sure that heel stays low on the floor. Keep that heel down. Good. Switch it again. Yeah. Good. Switch it again. Good. Excellent. And let's straighten both legs now as you drop your head. Good, hands are back in the middle of the feet, and then walk your feet in now to hip distance, and give me a deep squat. Drop the hips straight down. Good, take your elbows inside the knees and push your knees out, lift through the chest. That's right, breathing. Good, keep the left elbow inside the left thigh, and grab the right ankle with your left hand, and reach your right arm to the sky. There you go, and then go ahead and switch sides. Let's switch it again. And let's go ahead and switch that one more time. Good. And then come on back down to the middle. Put both hands on the floor. Keep the elbows inside the knees. Lean into your elbows. Push those knees out just a little bit further. Good. And then rock back to your heels. Straighten your legs. Drop your head one last time. Push the knees back. Feel that stretch through the hamstrings. Good, and then give me a bend to the knees, slight bend that is. Curl the spine as you roll up one vertebrae at a time. Head is the last thing that comes up. And then we're gonna do some shoulder circles here. Up, back, down, forward. Up, back, down, forward. We're gonna go a few times one direction. And then switch direction for a few. And you're breathing, getting your mind focused. Good, put your hands on your hips, widen your stance, put your chin to your chest. Just roll your neck around a few times one way. And switch direction for a few. Good. And look straight ahead. Keep your stance wide. Keep your hands on your hips. Lean back. Yep. Lean back. Roll right. Roll forward. Roll left. Roll back. We're going to go three times. Right. Forward. Left. Back. That's two. Forward. Left. And reverse direction. Left. Forward. Right. For one. Left. Forward. Right. That's two. And four, three. Excellent. Let's step the ankles and knees in together. Put your hands on top of your knees and just draw circles with the knees. Like so, right. About five times one way and then switch direction for about five. And stand tall. All right, shake it out. Give me 20 seconds of jumping jacks. Good old jumping jacks for 20 seconds. Three, two, one, go. Give it 20. Tap the fingers and slap the thighs. That's right. Good. Make sure you're getting full range here. Make sure the fingertips touch over the head and your hands are coming all the way back down to the thighs. Tap the fingers, slap the thighs. Keep that going. Keep that going. Don't stop because I did. Keep it going. Three, two, one, and time. Excellent. Okay, guys. So today we're going to take a, a little trip through our interval variations. So. Long story short, we have four sections 
Each section has three exercises. I call them triceps, three exercises. I'm gonna go over the first three exercises. We're gonna go EMOM the first time out. EMOM is every minute on the minute. If you're not familiar with that, it's real simple. Each exercise will have a specific rep count. You will have one minute to complete all the reps of just the one exercise, the remainder of that minute to rest, and then you move on to the next and the next. We'll do the three exercises for three rounds for a total of nine minutes, real simple. So let's go over these exercises. So first out of the gate, we've got this inchworm into a jump squat. So you're gonna stand, make sure you have space in front of you. You're gonna stand with your feet a little bit wider than hips, put your hands to the floor, walk out. You're gonna push up, walk back into a squat. From the squat position, you're gonna jump, lay back in the squat, walk out, push up, walk back, jump, and so on. What I'm looking for, rep count for that one, is seven reps, okay? Seven reps, and again, you'll have a minute to do all the reps, the remainder of that minute to rest. From there, we're gonna go into a variation on a row. So I'm gonna give you three different types of rows that you can do, and I'm gonna let you decide which one you want. I'll go from hardest to easiest. First one is gonna be a renegade row. So this is from a plank position. So you're gonna basically go into a plank, wide stance, single arm plank, and the other arm is doing the rowing. Like so. Okay, that would be 10 on each side. Second option is to stand, sit back into the hips, and just roll from one side. 10 times on each side. The third variation, the easier one, is to anchor your elbow, or to get into a split squat stance, and then anchor the elbow on the front knee and do the rows from here, okay? So we have those three variations on the rows. Again, 10 reps on each side, 20 total. You'll have that minute to complete your reps, the remainder of the minute to rest. Finally, we're gonna go into knee tucks. So you'll sit down, put your hands behind you, pick your feet up off the ground, extend the legs as you rock back, and then pull the knees into the chest, and repeat. We're going to go 25. 25. If you want to make this a little harder, pick your hands up off the ground and do them this way. Okay, so if you're not sure what you're doing, just keep up with me. I'm going to do my best to keep this workout going as well. Uh, we started with our inchworm, two jump squats. You'll have a minute to do seven reps. And we begin in three, two, one. Let's go. Walk it out. We got a push up. Walk it back and jump. That's one. Out, push up, back. Two. Try to keep up with me. Out, push up, back. That's three. Walk it out, push up, back. That's four. Walk it out, push up, back. And five. Walk it out. Good. Back. This is six for me. I got one more. Out, push up, and back. That's seven for me. If you kept up with me, you have a 30 second break. If you did not keep on working. Come on. Come on, you got 20 more seconds. Get those reps in. 20 seconds, come on. 10 more seconds. If you don't get them all in, that's fine. Just try to match your rep count when you come back around. Get ready for our rows coming up next in three, two, one, pick your variation. You've got this one for 10. You have this variation for 10. Or you have the staggered stance, anchoring your elbow on the front knee for 10. Either way, I need 10 reps on each side. Whew. Those are my 20 reps. Hopefully you got your 10 in. If that was too easy for you, if your dumbbells are on the lighter side, make it 15 reps on each side. If you are still working, you've got 20 more seconds. If you have finished your 10, you have a break of 15 more seconds. And then we go into our 25 knee tucks. 25. All right, get ready. We go in five, four. We got a knee tucks happening in three, right here. Reach and then pull in. One, two, try to keep up with me. Three, four, five, six. Here's a variation. Seven, make it a little tougher. Nine, that's ten. One, two, three, four. There's the burn. Five, six, seven, eight. Good. 
I got five more. Keep up with me. One, two, three, four, five. Woo! All right, if you kept up with me, you got a 25 second break. If you did not, keep working. Get all reps in. 25 reps. Good, all right. Good, keep it going, keep it going. You've got more time if you need it. And now we know what we're doing because we just did it. So we're gonna repeat all three of those. All right, we got five seconds and we're going back into our inchworm and jump squat. Here we go, three, two, one. Let's do it, hands to the floor. Walk it out, push up. Walk it back, one. Walk it out, push up. Walk it back, two. Walk it back, three. Four, five, I got two more if you're keeping up with me, six, seven, that does me, if you are not keeping up with me, keep working, you've got plenty of time, if you did keep up with me, you're recovering, breathe in your nose and out your mouth. 10 more seconds. Get them done. We got our rows up next. Pick your variation. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's do it. Like I said, if your weight is really light and you're feeling like 10 isn't enough, then make your rep count 15. Good, that's 30 more seconds. If you have finished, you are resting. Good. Yeah, everybody looks good. 20 seconds, we go back into our 25 knee tucks. Boy. 10 seconds. Big breaths. Get ready, five seconds. Four, three, two, right here. Let's go. One, two, keep up with me. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's make them harder. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I got five more. Come on. One, two, three, four, and five. Five, woo, that's 30 more seconds. Big breaths. Good, good, we've got 15 more seconds and we'll repeat all three of those one more time. We got this, there's nothing to it, nothing to it. All right, get your mind right, we got our inchworms coming up. Three, two, I need seven of them. Let's do this. Come on. Walk it out. Push up. Walk it back. And one. Walk it out. Push up. Walk it back. Two. Keep that going. That's three for me. Try to keep up. And four. Come on. Five. Six, and seven. Good, just keep going. If you haven't got your seven, and keep working it. 20 seconds. Come on guys, give me all of them. It's the last one on this one, make them count. 10 more seconds. If you are done, you're breathing deep, through the nose, out the mouth. Five. Four, we're going into our rows. Three, two, one. Let's go. One. I need 10 on each side. Good, make sure when you're pulling, and when you're rowing, the dumbbell breaks right around the hip. All right, we don't want to pull to the armpit, right around the hip. 
We need 10 on each side. You've got 30 more seconds.
dropped to my knees a long time ago, so go to your knees if you need to. Keep those elbows in tight, keep those elbows in. You got five more seconds, keep working. Four, three, two, time, great job. All right, next is gonna be a side plank. Let's start on the left side. Left elbow underneath of your left shoulder. Bend the left leg, reach that right leg out. Get your hip up, reach your arm overhead. Tap the knee. Keep the hip up the whole time. Here we go. Three, two, one. Go. Tap. Reach. Tap. That foot, that extending leg foot, doesn't touch the floor. And where you're going to start to feel this is in that opposite hip. Get that crunch. That crunch. Get ready to switch. Three, two, one. Switch sides. Come on. the leg, reach the arm. Two, one, time. Excellent. Okie dokie. That was one round down. Let's do it again. We are going back to our Cossack squats. Right here, wide stance. Right, remember we're going to sit on the one side and then the other. Three, two, one. Let's work. One side, up and over. The other side, up and back. That heel of the bending leg never comes off the ground. Feel the bending leg, big toe, and heel on the floor. You got 20 more seconds. I'm gonna drop down to body weight to finish, because that was an ambitious weight. Keep going. We got 10 more seconds, come on. We're not tired. Five seconds. Three, two, time. All right, next push-up variation is gonna be staggered push-ups. You'll come down to your push-up position. Your right hand is gonna be up higher than your left hand. You're gonna do one push-up and then switch hands. Do another push-up and switch. So we switch that staggered position in between each rep, okay? Get ready, here we go. Three, two, one. Push-up, switch hands. Push-up. Switch it back, push it, switch. And that top hand is just a little higher than the bottom hand. Again, drop to your knees here if you need to, which I have already done. Come on, come on. Exhale and push the floor away. Keep going, you got 10 more seconds.
Ten more seconds. You got five seconds. Four, three, two, time. All right. Our final push-up variation. You're going to start with a narrow grip. You're going to do one push-up. Then step your hands out to a wide grip. Another push-up. And back into a narrow grip. You can step your hands out or you can hop your hands out. You decide. Three, two, one. Let's go. I'm going to start with a little hop until I'm completely spent, and then I'm going to step it out, and I'm just about there. All right, I'm stepping out now. We've got 20 more seconds. Keep working. If you need to, take little breaks along the way. This is hard work, you guys. you got 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, time. Wonderful, okay, back to our side planks. This is the final exercise of this second round, and we got two more to go. Here we go. Let's get the elbow under the shoulder, lift the hip, and we start in three, two, one. Let's do it, come on, tap and reach. Make sure you're connecting your breath to this movement. Exhale as you pull that knee into the elbow. Give me three seconds here. Two, one, switch sides, switch sides. That's the way. Come on. Keep going, don't stop because I did. You got 10 more seconds. Come on, this is the last one, finish it strong. Two, one, done. All right, you guys got a break. All right, so the first one out is going to be a horizontal wooden chopper. All right, so this is a really simple movement. You can do this with weight or without weight. You're gonna stand with your feet a little bit wider than your hips, tailbone tucked under, and you're gonna reach the dumbbell or just your hands out in front of your chest. And then you're gonna swipe from one side to the other side. It's just this half circle rotation, keeping the dumbbell right up in front of the chest, okay? Next up, we're gonna do snap ups. You're gonna lie down, looking down at the floor. Hands can be either out to the side, bent to 90 degrees, or reaching overhead. You're gonna just pick your legs and your chest and your arms up. Squeeze your booty here, hold for a beat, and then lower down, it's that simple. Hold and down. Couple things here, don't look forward, don't crane in the neck, look down. All right, and when you're up and squeezing, think of squeezing your butt, not those muscles around your lower back. Let the butt do most of the work there, okay? Snap ups. Finally, from our quadruped position, hands and toes, you're just gonna do fence hoppers, hopping from one side of your body over to the other, it's that simple. We're gonna go three rounds. This time, we're going 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off, and we go in three, Two, one, right here. One side, other side. And the faster you move those arms, the better. Keep the arms extended out in front of you. Heavy dumbbells is not the deal here. Something in the lighter range. It's more about stopping that momentum. When you switch it, that's gonna get your core just going. Keep it going. Come on. Three, two, one. One time, well done everybody, well done. Good, good, I'm sure you felt your core light up on those. All right, we got our, we got our snap ups happening. Get ready, right here. Snap up, squeeze your butt, get your feet, get your knees, get your chest, get everything up. And then roll back down. Up, snap it up, and lower back down. Snap it up, squeeze your booty, and lower back down. Up. And lower back down. Keep that going. We've got 15 more seconds. This is not for speed here, guys. This is not speed at all. Good, Barbara. Good modification there. Keep it going. Three, two, one, time. Excellent work. All right, next we got fence hoppers. Imagine there's an obstacle that you have to hop your feet over. Make that obstacle about six inches tall. 
Try to get your feet up and over an imaginary obstacle. Three, two, one. Here we go. Hop over and back. The feet will go from one side of your body all the way over to the other side. working hard. Keep it going. Keep that rolling. Come on. Come on. 10 seconds. Don't quit. Let's go. Let's go. Try not to keep your legs straight. Get those knees bent. And time. Wonderful job. All right. We're back to our wood choppers. You guys know what you're doing because you just did it. We're going to go through two more rounds of each. So get your mind right. Get ready. Here we go, three, two, one, you got this, come on. One side to the other. Make sure the hip is doing the rotating here. Pivoting on the opposite heel. Go fast and slow. Good, that's right. Keep the knees soft, right? Knees are slightly bent, and the hip is doing all that rotating. There you go. You guys look great, keep it going. Five, come on. Four, three, two, time. Well done. Okie dokie, we got snap ups happening. Snap ups? Let's work that posterior. The only thing that should be on the floor here is your pelvis. When you, when you snap up, that is. Here we go. Three, two, one. Up and squeeze, hold for a beat, and then lower back down. And, and back down. Keep that going. There you go. There you go. Right, really work to arch the spine. Squeeze your butt. You got five more seconds. Time. Excellent work, everybody. Excellent work. We are back to our fence hoppers. These guys right here, man. These guys do the trick. Remember, imaginary. Obstacle. Here we go. Keep working. Good. Come on. Come on. 15 more seconds. No quit here. No quit. Good. Don't let the legs straighten out on you. Keep those knees bent the whole time. Five seconds. Excellent job. All right, grab your dumbbells. Let's go through these three one more time. You got it. You got this. Come on now. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's get them done. Come on. One side to the other side. Make sure that hip is rotating. You don't want to twist in the spine. The whole trunk is moving. Stacked over your hands. That's right. Come on, you guys. Ten seconds. You got this. Let's go. Three, two, one, done. It's going to be going. 
going back to what we started with. This one's going to be EMOM. So you guys can uh, remember, you're gonna have a specific rep count to your exercise. You will have one minute to do all reps, the remainder of the minute to rest. Okay, first out of the gate, we're gonna go, again, working that back side of the legs. So we're gonna go single leg deadlifts. So there's a couple ways you can do this. I'll show you with a dumbbell. So it's contralateral. If you're holding the dumbbell in your right arm, you're standing on your left leg. And that opposite leg is gonna reach back. And you're gonna drop that dumbbell down toward the instep of the leg that you are balanced on. Drop it down and back. If your balance becomes an issue, you can turn this into a staggered version, just stepping that leg that would be off the ground, just putting the toe on, uh, back on the floor and then reaching the hips back here. Like so. So you have a staggered version if the balance becomes an issue. Now, you don't have a heavy dumbbell because you kind of need heavy dumbbells for that, which will really get into the glutes. If you don't have one, what you can do is just do body weight, but take your fingertips and touch the floor in front of that working leg. And don't put too much weight on the leg, so it's more like a Romanian style deadlift. So you can do those as well. And trust me when I say those get into the muscle because you get a little bit more stretch on those. So 10 on each side, long story short, is what we're looking for there. Next up, half burpees. Not a whole burpee, half burpees. We're taking it easy today. Ha, I'm kidding. These are actually pretty tough. So you're gonna be in a plank position, starting. You're gonna hop your feet out and hop them out wide, or hop them in. You're gonna hop them in wide so that the knees get to the outside of the elbows. And when you do, you're just gonna pick your hands up off the ground in this, into the squat position. Hands back down, hop back out. Okay, and we wanna up the tempo on this. So it's gonna look like this. Here, out, here, out. Here and out, okay? 15 of those guys. I know, I heard the moans, the oh no. Yes, 15 of those guys. And then lastly, we're gonna finish with a kneeling curl to overhead press. So both knees will be down, you'll tuck your tailbone. One side is gonna curl, press for 10, and then switch sides. If you have two dumbbells that match, you can do the alternating version here. They would go simultaneously in opposite directions. Without further ado, let's get to it. We need single leg deadlifts, and we're going in three, two, one, let's work. Right here, and back up. I need 10 on each side. If you keep it up with me, I want seven. And that's 10 for me, I'm switching sides. If you have not reached your 10, keep going. So switch arms now. If you didn't complete 10, then match your lips. And that is 10 for me on 
both sides. You guys keep going, finish up those reps. You've got about five seconds left. And we're going right into those single leg dump, um, deadlifts. Three, two, one. All right, stand up, let's get busy. I'm gonna do these ones with no weight. Four seconds to go. I finished mine. Have you finished yours yet? If not, keep going. 20 more seconds. seconds. I need 10 on each side, guys. Keep working. Keep going. Keep going. 20 more seconds, and then we have one final round of all three of these. We got 10 more seconds. Finish those reps. All right. Get ready. We're going back to our final round of single leg deadlift. Yeah. 
Get ready. Let's curl and press. One last time. Ten on each side. Let's go. One. Two. Three. Four. Remember, slow leg eccentric contraction. And then lowering down. Six. Seven. Tell the tailbone is touching. Lips are engaged. Core is engaged. Yeah.